Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 196. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than normal. We're not just looking at a specific module, but we're going to look at how to build uh, what I guess I I've been calling kind of a dynamic display block with mini panels. So you might want a little familiarity with panels if you're going to follow along, but you should be able to uh, keep up even if you don't have too much experience. So what we're going to do, is that first I'm going to show you what I mean by dynamic display. So on the Code Karate site, if you go to a Drupal Commerce related post, if it's tagged with Drupal Commerce, and you scroll down to the bottom, you will see a block here that says receive our free collection of Drupal Commerce videos. If you go to a git tagged or I guess it technically a version control tagged post you will see a completely different block here just getting started with git block and so so what really we built is a way to based on the taxonomy term of the post choose what kind of block or which block we want to display here and it's just using mini panels so there's probably ways you can do it, especially if you wanted to spend a little time with some code, you could do it more efficiently. But it's still a pretty easy way to create this without using any code at all. So make sure you have the panels module downloaded on your site. And I'll show, go ahead and get started with how to create this. But before we do, make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. We have a whole bunch of things changing all all the time on the site so you can check out the ebook check out the Drupal Commerce course and just let us know if you see anything that you think we should do videos on in the future so I have our test site here and I'm going to go to the modules page and show that panels and mini panels are enabled so you can see mini panels is on and panels is also on and if you go to our home page, there's two art articles here. This one is a test article, and you can see it's tagged with test. And this one is called inspiring quotes, and it's tagged with the tag inspire. So what we're going to build is we'll just build a mini panel that'll display something different depending on which uh, which post we click on depending on the tag and we can go ahead and we'll be able to put that block anywhere whether it's on the sidebar whether it's below the post you could actually put it within the post itself if you wanted to really use panels uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is you want to test this especially with caching because if it, your page is completely cached there are you know s some things depending on tags so just want to keep that in mind, just test it beforehand, but you should be okay if you follow along with this. So let's go ahead to structure mini panels and we're going to create our first mini panel. Let's just call this dynamic display. We'll leave everything else blank and hit continue. We'll then want to make sure we have a required context of node because we're going to want them to be on a node page. You can leave the identifier and keyword just at the defaults and hit continue. For the layout, it's going to be a really simple layout. So I'm just going to go to a single column. You could make it as complex as you want, but I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to display one little piece of text depending on what uh, type of article they are on. So now we have our mini panels, or I guess it's similar to panels, but the editor where you can add content. So we're going to first add a piece of content. And I'm just going to use uh, custom content here, but you could use all different types of things. You could put other blocks in here. You could put you know, a comment form. You, you could do anything else that you could normally do with mini panels or panels and add it into uh, this actual a mini panel to display dynamically, but I'm just going to go ahead and use custom content. So 
So I'll do one. This one's going to be for the if the keyword or the tag is inspire. So I'm just saying, do you like inspirational posts? And I'll click finish. And then I'm going to add another one for the test tag. Just say, do you like posts with the test tag? Just keep in mind this is a really simple example, but you can use it to put anything you want in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish this for now. And let's go ahead and look or add it to the sidebar, and then we'll look at how it looks just right now. So if we find, go down here and find mini panel dynamic display, I'm going to put this in the sidebar first column just at the bottom and click save I'm also going to come in here and configure it and only display it on article content types you could of course determine how you want to do this and you you might say well couldn't we just use two different blocks and for this specific example you can't because you can't do it just based on taxonomy term. If you wanted to individually specify the pages, you could specify that I only wanted to show the inspiring one on this page and the test one on the test page. But that doesn't really work if you're going to scale to hundreds or you know you know a couple hundred posts on a site, especially if you want it all controlled on taxonomy term. The other thing to keep in mind with mini panels is it doesn't have to be just taxonomy term. It could be controlled on a specific field on the content type and we'll go ahead and show you that here in a little bit but for now we're just going to check just the article and now we're going to go ahead and go back to one of our articles and we should be able to see both of them and it is not showing up okay so I think the reason that it's not showing up is that in order for the mini panel to actually get that node context that we passed in we have to be using panels and page manager so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn that on for this article and by to do that we go to structure pages and you'll see there's a node view by default but by default it is disabled so we're going to enable it and then we need to make sure that our article page is actually using a variant in here so we're gonna go ahead and add a new variant and we we're gonna go ahead and do this just for articles so it's not gonna change any other content type so to do that we add a variant and select selection rules we're going to look for node type click add and find the article here this means this variant will only show up for article content types and everything else, all the other content types will go back to their normal uh, display. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And we'll go ahead and keep this as flexible for now, just in case we wanted to change it. And we're going to leave everything else on the panel settings page at its default. And this is going to get us to a layout designer. So here is where we want to come in and add all of our fields. So we'd want to add our body. I'll just add that quickly. And I'll also add the tags field so we can see that. I'm just going to leave everything at its default so we can see it working. And I'm just going to show that for now. There's more we can add, but really what you'd want to do is you want to use panels to design out that article page and then that's going to allow us to show the mini panel in the block because the context of this panels page this page manager panels page is going to then be passed into that mini panel so that's the only way that the mini panel can be aware of the actual node that we're going to need and we need that because without uh, having the node available you're not going to be able to specify specific fields or specific taxonomy terms uh, to use to decide which one to display so that is important so we're going to click create variant and I'll click update and save you can see we are saved now so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home page you'll notice that the article page is gonna look different doesn't have the image it's not designed out quite the same we could change that of course 
but you will notice we have this little block here, this mini panel, and it has both. Do you like inspirational posts and do you like posts with the test tag? So what we're going to do now is dependent on which article we're viewing, we only want to see one of these. So how do we do that? Well, we go back into mini panels. So go back to structure mini panels and we're going to edit our mini panel here. We're going to go into content and we have our two different pieces of custom content. If you click the little gear icon over here, there's a visibility rule. And so what these visibility rules are, and these are uh, very dynamic and very flexible on what you can do, but you can control what shows up based on specific conditions. So we're going to add a new rule here, and we're going to look for node tags, I believe, node article tags field. So we're going to select that, click next, and this is for the first one. So we're going to select the tag that we want to show. And keep in mind, this doesn't have to be taxonomy. This could be a field you added. Maybe you are only ever going to have three blocks or three pieces of custom content, and you want to add a drop down with the three fields. And based on what you select, you want to show the specific one. You can do that. The visibility rules, as you can see, there's a bunch of a bunch of options you can actually put in PHP code if you didn't want it to be specific to one of the node fields. You could use similar blocks, you could use URLs, uh, only show it for specific users, those types of things. But this for this we're just using the tags field. So this one's only going to show if the test tag is selected. So we're going to click save now if I did this right, when we come back, if I clicked on the first article that's tagged with test, you can see do you like posts with the test tag. If I come back to the other one, you'll notice it says do you like inspirational posts. So as you can see, this is really dynamic and flexible for how you want to build out your your site to show different dynamic blocks based on the taxonomy terms of the post itself. So you can get really crazy with it and put all different kinds of things in these blocks. You could put the blocks anywhere, but it's very contextual in a way. It only shows uh, what you want based on what is actually in the content itself. So it's pretty cool and you can do all kinds of cool things similar to what we did with the Code Karate site. And if you, know, if you do use this, let me know. I'd like to take a look and we can definitely uh, share it out and show off all the cool stuff you can do with mini panels. So that's it for this time. I think it went a little long, but I think it's pretty useful and something that a lot of people will be able to use on a lot of different Drupal websites. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.